I can. Real the Lulu. Yelling out my man for that river bend, river bend, river bend, river, 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 river. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you ever miss a live, go to Live Bites on Instagram. They catch all the IG lives we miss. So I was scrolling through Instagram or whatever, and I come across this live that was done by Ocho Cinco and Terrell Owens, where Terrell Owens basically giving his spiel on why he dates white hoes. Because back in the day when he was younger, he was this tall, skinny, nerdy dude, and you know, black enough found him attractive, and the one black girl he dated didn't end well, so he started dating these Caucasians in college and murder she wrote, he nowadays white women. So check out, <laughs> check this out. My experiences with black women growing up wasn't so good. When I started dating white girls, my first experience with white girls is when I went to college. I tried to date some black girls when I was in college. They did not like me. I was skinny, I right. was strong. Right. I was, I was teased from high school, even college. I got teased for being dark skinned. Damn, so they, was, they tease you cuz? Yeah, so there was a lot of self a lot of self esteem issues. Right, right, right. No, I'm I'm being I'm being yep. dead honest. So when I if, when I got my opportunity when my, my first experience with a white girl, I'm like, okay, it wasn't bad. But that wasn't I just gr totally gravitated to, to white girls after that. Right. That wasn't the situation. So again, my experiences with black women growing up wasn't so good. So but that still didn't deter me from still dating or pursuing right. black girls. Right. So my thing now is <clears throat> because I know there's this stigma, uh, the, the, the stereotypical of, of athletes, you know, to, to to go off and make money, this and that, and and date uh, the opposite color, mm -hmm. opposite race. But for me now, where I am, it's not even about it's not even about about color. It's not even about race. Mm -hmm. For me, it's about somebody that I have some chemistry with. Mm -hmm good energy and a, and I get a good vibe with right. that's that's where I am like I said we all want somebody that's attractive right you right. know what I mean instead it's going to play a big part in it don't, anybody that says oh well I don't care what a person looks like that's a lie that's a lie we all want somebody that we can roll over and wake up to that's you know what I mean that looks pleasing to the eye everybody's experiences have been different for me when I grew when I grew up I tried I was in my my high school pretty much is 50, I don't know what percentage black, white, but I lived in a black neighborhood. So at the end of the day, I attempted to date black girls. When I was younger, I wasn't as handsome as I am now. I didn't oh. have this beautiful smile as I had as, yeah. I, have now, as I have now. You hit puberty. I, you hit puberty. Right. I was a late I was a late bloomer. Yeah. And when I bloomed, boy did I bloom. Ah, <sighs> okay. So I don't know where Terrence Owens grew up from. I don't know what schools he went to. I don't know if they're primarily black or not, but let's just go with what he said. He was a tall, slinky, nerdy type dude that black women are attracted to. Now, once again, what I said, I don't know where he grew up from because there's always a stereotype where if a black woman is raised in the hood, then she like hood niggas, the usual nerdy types they're not attracted to, unless you a dope boy or a pookie and a ray ray, as we call it now, they're not gonna find you attractive. Now, nerdy niggas get pulled, sure the fuck do, maybe as adults they do, but if you got a little swag of dirty boy, you get some pull, okay? Black or not, okay? Not everybody who's nerdy contains to a Stevie Urkel type of nigga, right? Um, you having heights is a plus for you. A lot of women, not just black women, love tall men. So even if black women are attracted to you, so you say you found someone that were attracted to you at that time. Now you say one to call that you saw, you decided that you like white hoes, and that you know now that you in your career and you now you're successful, and they carry with you all the way through your hardest times and shit. Now you're successful, you gonna keep that white hoe around. What somebody said in the comments got to me where they said that yes. A white woman will, will get you at your lowest of lows and be with you at your highest of highs because they don't judge you off rip. That partially might be true. There's also a thing where women of other races, because black women don't always follow this code, that when they know you're going to be a motherfucking star, they're going to stick around and get some of that coin, okay? Other races of women are taught to find the bag. 
Not the way we talking about some, you know, scamming and dealing with a dope boy and all that type of shit. I mean, making sure your man has money. That way you live off your man like you're supposed to in your feminine. Okay? I hate the fact that black women in this day and age are the breadwinner households and mis are mis independent. Not because I don't want y'all to win. I always want a black woman to win. But because of the fact that because y'all are not following that code that these niggas are not keeping up and that's their motherfucking fault. And so when you run the household and they ain't shit, they putting y'all through DV and unaliving y'all at four women an hour. You get me? So that's why I say that. I don't think it's white woman. Okay, I don't. I wouldn't need a white hoe, but that got nothing to do with me. Okay, I also like men. So yeah. In my time frame, when I was dating women, because I, I am I, I am pansexual, but I, I do like men more. Let's be real myself, right? I dated four black women and two Latinas. It had nothing to do with it being spicy and da 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 I grew up in a space where I was primarily around blacks and Latin culture. So, yes, I fluctuate between the two. Them Latin hoes crazy as hell. It's black women that held me down, but my relationship with a black woman. And me being bullied and picked on by black girls, not me saying, oh, my God, I can't stand black women. Because that's stupid, okay? We is known as black people always pick on each other all the damn time. There's nothing new in our species, okay? So I feel like half the time when niggas say that shit is an excuse so that when we go to the white hole, you don't feel bad about saying it out loud, right? Because I'm pretty sure you could have found a black woman who is on that nerdier side, who not on the hood, rat hoochie, the book smart type. So... It's not like it wasn't there. It just wasn't coming to you. And so now I saw you blaming all black women for why you don't like black women, which is stupid. But anyways, um, like I said, when it comes to these athletes and why they date, you know, women of no color, as Cynthia G would say, it's simply because they're not the, the you, you, you niggas. Because I have to say it like that, niggas. They get a little bit of coin. They think they 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 on the white man's level to some form of fashion. They get a white hole making them elevate their status, but the white hole status is not elevated. They downgrade, and which makes them not be able to date who they wanted, who is their own people. You feel me? So I mean, whatever. Terrell Owens said what he said, and what the case may be, but I don't give a fuck. But long story short, um, yeah. Do not put down a black woman for you chased at the white holes. Because that's what in the day what it is. Y'all be how you bar your ass kids because y'all like y'all blackness and that would know me falls into. So anyways, um like I'm subscribing, I'll see you next time. Peace. Someone once told me the grass is much greener.